Okay. So should I just fire away? Yeah, fire away. Jolly good. Okay. You're far too young for this, by the way. I'm 42, sir. Thank you very much. You, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, let's start with that. How about age? You've turned 60, and there's that's right. And uh, <laughs> there's lots of young uh, competition. Lady Gaga just stage dived naked. Do you feel an urge to do something dramatic as well? Lady Gaga seems to be hell bent on getting noticed. And uh, good luck to the girl. She she has the money, and I believe she comes from a family of money. So it's I can see what she's trying to do. But I dare say there are some people who think it's unfair because she has probably the best PR in the world, and she has all the best sets in the world, and just not the background, not the back catalogue. She needs the back catalogue first before you do that stuff. But good luck. Is that all in the past for you, having the best sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Who said it was in the past? See, everyone tends to think, you're 40, what did you tell me? He's 40-something, which you think is too old. Um, and he stopped having sex, you think. And you think I have. <laughs> it's not true, it never stops, none of that stops. The, um, the so-called rock and roll lifestyle, I just don't believe in, I never have done. Just if we want to come to play some wreck it, we pay for it. <laughs> to me, that isn't rock and roll, that's purchase and sale that's business going on so all this myth about people having you know throwing tvs or being having loads of women or da, 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 da. it's such an old story and and i feel there are some young people that actually are trying to be in this business so they can do that you can do it anyway <laughs> just go out friday uh, you know you'll be fine what, what does get you excited these days um music work i'm afraid was, yeah i'm kind of looking forward to it but i don't I lost a hell of a lot of money, but this is kind of, that's one, that's the ego, how much the ego will do it. We lost money. Ego says that's fine. Talking about money, uh, you're a frequent guest to Switzerland, which is good. Um, but uh, nowadays, nowadays, our government is afraid every time a famous star from abroad uh, comes here because he might uh, try to hide his money here. I hid my money here a long time ago. And I don't really think... Any Swiss authorities would be worried about more money coming in, would you? <laughs> Everybody, everybody's cleared out now. I, I don't, I'd rather not talk about money. It's such a tr tricky subject, don't you think? And you know, well, we, we uh, actually okay. know about that. It's a tricky subject. Okay, okay. I've always had this thing about since we've been coming to Switzerland. I remember playing gigs in the early seventies, and they were all um, air raid shelters for in case of a nuclear war. And we used to, everyone would be laughing in England thinking, well, the Swiss have got all that, they can all be underground if there's a nuclear. And as a nuclear thing goes off, and then the Swiss will come out of the ground after three or four years and go, hi, everybody, we got the money. So we're like cockroaches, actually. No, I'm just thinking there'll be nobody left except the Swiss. And we say, we've got the money, everyone, but there's nobody left. Last December, you've received the Order of the British Empire, uh, well, rece yeah. uh, well uh, received. Yeah. And uh, does that come with the previous? I mean, do you have to behave something differently? I don't know. They didn't tell me. I mean, they should have told us beforehand, perhaps, we'd have behaved. No, I think, um, I don't think we deserve that. Uh, it's nice to have it. It's a great honour, I believe. It is a great honour, but I also realise that people say uh, from Leeds or anywhere in England that were a paramedic who saved people's lives, you put him on the in the press, you put him on the TV, and nobody notices when you, people like us get it. Lots of people get very, very upset, and lots of people are thinking, yes. So we maintain that system, that honours pro the profile for the honours system, which I suppose is okay. I don't think we are wonderful people and deserve it. It's just one of those things that came along with being in a band. Like doing your first television, or to people uh, who look about yeah. thirteen. You are a supporter of the British Army. Isn't that a little uh, risky uh, thing to do because it could offend uh, part of your audience? Maybe. Yeah. I thought rock and roll was part of offending an audience.